Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, full face, almost full face of Dior. I am missing a few things, but I just wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up and how I got this look. So if you're interested, then keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start with foundation. I've already prepped my face. I don't know why. I got a new phone, so I'm looking really like yellow, like more yellow than I do in person. But anyways, I guess this is a little more true to my color than my previous phone. But anywho, so I'm going to start with the Dior Forever foundation. Sorry, this is the uh, matte foundation. And I have the shade 0W. So when I put it on, it is going to look a little light but with this foundation I didn't really hear many people talk about how it oxidizes quite a bit so the first color I picked up in this shade or sorry the first shade I picked up in this foundation was actually 0.5 n but it just looked too orange I find with the warm shades, so it has a little bit of a yellowy undertone it doesn't really oxidize as bad or it doesn't turn orange if it does oxidize which it does, but it's not as bad as the end shades. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but anyway, so I primed my face with the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer. I don't have a Dior primer. I didn't buy any of the newer ones, but yeah, so I'll just be going in with this. I just want to be careful because I used it yesterday and it squirted all over, it like went, <laughs> squirted all over my shirt and everything. So don't want to do that today. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it is going to look quite a bit lighter, but it'll work out in the end because it does have the oxidizing factor. I'm not sure if the glow um, one oxidizes, but I have heard it did. I've never tried it, so I'm not sure, but my face is looking really bad in this camera looks better in person I don't know what is going on but I'm just using a Sephora 56 foundation brush and then what I do after I blend it out is I generally take a I'm just taking a dry sponge it's pretty dirty right now I really should have washed it first but whatever I just take a dry sponge and I kind of just press that into the face so it looks a little bit better. I'm not really pumped about this camera. It's making me look, I don't know, like super saturated. I don't know. I don't love it. This is an iPhone 14 and I used to have a Samsung. And like there are things that I kind of miss about my Samsung. People might be like, what? But it's weird because whenever I would go talk to the people at the phone stores, they would be like, oh, you're switching from a uh, Samsung to an iPhone? That's weird. And I'm like, really? Is that weird? Because I feel like more people have iPhones. And they were like, yeah, but the quality of the new phones are so good with the Samsung. So they're like, so they kind of had me changing my mind, but everybody in my family has one. <laughs> So I wanted to be able to have iMessage and when they send me videos, I used to not be able to see them properly because I don't know, we had different phones. I don't know why I would do that, but yeah, it would be like blurry. So anyways, back to makeup. Who cares about phones? I just don't love this video. It's making me look like I have spots where I don't have spots. Anyway. I'm just going to go back in with my sponge, kind of press that into my face. I have been liking this foundation besides the oxidizing business. Um, I actually returned my Makeup by Mario foundation and the only reason I did, I actually, like I liked it, but the only reason I returned it is because I felt like I couldn't find 
a shade that I loved. Like the 3W was too yellow. And then 2N was just like a little bit too light. And it didn't oxidize at all. On me anyways, I've heard some people said it does. But it didn't on me and it almost just stayed too light. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah. But what I like about this, so I, finally I was like, okay, I need to stop going for glowy foundations when I clearly am oily and I like the look of a matte foundation. And if I want a little bit of glow, I can always add in, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury or the e.l.f. Halo, what is it called? Halo Glow? If I really want to, but... I'm finding, I don't know, I'm just liking the look of a matte foundation better lately. And I don't know, maybe that'll change. But usually in the summertime I like matte because I get so oily. But yeah, I feel like this looks pretty smooth on the forehead. I haven't had any issues with this foundation. The only issues I've really had... And this happened to me with the NYX, um, where is it, is it called the Bear With Me foundation? The only issues I've had with that one are when I'm wearing a mask and I look at my face, I can see like little dots kind of forming and I don't love that and that happened with this one too after wearing a mask for a long time, but I did wear this one without wearing a mask and I didn't have that issue, so... Maybe it's just a mask thing. But, and I do notice this one does collect a little bit around the nose. I know this has taken me a really long time, but I think I'm just talking way too much. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I wanted to do just a video about some of the Dior products I have just because I got couple newer things they're not brand new but newer things that I wanted to show see so I have to really just press this into my nose because I find like right here what the hell's going on there there's actually nothing going on there in person but on screen there's something I don't know what is going on I don't like this camera at all Anyway, um, yeah, I just have a couple things that I wanted to show, and I've never really done, like, a full face of a brand before, so I thought it would be interesting, even though I'm being crazy and boring right now. But, okay, so that's what the foundation looks like so far. I think it's good. My under eyes look so dark right now. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to prime my eye with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. This one is more of a yellowy tone. I also use Painterly and I feel like both blend into my eye really well. That's why I usually get neutral shades of foundation, but yeah, for some reason this one, this foundation in neutral is just so orange. I don't know why, like, nobody's really mentioned that. Of the videos I've seen anyways, I'm sure people have. But one thing I did notice is it's not very, doesn't transfer very easily, which is nice. It does stay on a really long time because I put, <laughs> put it on my hand. And I wonder if you could see the oxidizing. No, not really. I put it on my hand and it stayed, like, I washed it with soap and water and it was not moving. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Dior Forever Skin Correct in the shade 0N. This is the older one. I d haven't tried the newer one yet. I heard it's pretty well exactly the same though, so I probably won't need it. <laughs> I didn't feel like I needed to pick up that one if it's very similar or almost identical. That might be a little too much, but I'm gonna blend that out. 
I always use the Sonia Kashuk sponge. I don't know why, it's just like the best one I've tried, especially for my under eye. Just feel like they're so soft, but the Beauty Blender is almost too soft, if that makes sense. Like it has the perfect amount of firmness and softness. So every time I go to the US, I always make a trip to Target and go pick these up. This, I gotta say, is not one of my favorite concealers. Sometimes I find, like you can see, kind of just collects under the eye. Like it's nice, I don't have a problem with it. It does look nice on the skin, but I don't know, my Charlotte Tilbury one, the newer one, the beautiful skin has been my go-to. And I'm just using the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. Okay, so I'm gonna just do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so I did the other eye and it's looking all right. I'm gonna go in with my powder, which is the Dior Powder No Powder, and I do have a brand new one. What is going on with this? Like, why would they take this away? This is such a nice powder. It's just super smoothing. It's really pretty on the skin. Why? I hope they're just reformulating, but like really don't change anything, just make it clean. But yeah, I'm upset about that. The only thing I don't like is that this hard pan's like a crazy. So I'm just gonna go in with that to set the foundation. I do really love my NARS powder that I just got and it's matte. This one has a tiny bit of a sheen to it. So I usually go in with a matte powder just on my nose, but like, look what's happening already. I don't know if you could see. Yes, you can. I can already see the outline of the package like it's running out already and if that's the case I'm gonna be pissed because what the hell I literally bought it not even a month ago and I do generally use my beauty blender powder puff and maybe that's picking up too much product or something I don't know but I don't like that it's literally not even been a full month yet and I can already see it looks like it's gonna hit pan soon what also my skin is looking like absolute crap in my phone and it looks so much better in person it's looking super textured right here but in person it doesn't look like that so i don't know if this is some sort of super high def something but i'm not loving it it's making me look worse so like i said i'm just gonna go in on the nose just with the NARS powder and yeah I don't know what is going on with this but not in love with the fact that it looks like it's running out already like I said it does have a little less product this one has nine grams and this one has 11 but like this one lasted me over a year like this is my old one you can see it's just pretty bad ready for the garbage but a year, over a year. And that one I can see pan already, like that's not good. So I don't think I have a bronzer by Dior. So I'm gonna come back, I'm just gonna go do my bronzer. I think I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier, the little contour stick here in Biscuit. Trace, sorry, Face Trace Contour Stick and it's in the shade Biscuit. And then maybe I'll just go over that with, we'll see. I'll figure out which one I'm going to use, but I'll be back. Okay, so bronzer is done. I just used some cheapies. I used both of these. So this is the LA Girl Matte Bronzer and Back to the Beach, which is like kind of a rosier toned blush, which I really like actually. And then I used just the Infallible Freshwear Bronzer in the shade. I think it's light. 250. Alright, so for blush, I only have the Rosy Glow blush in the shade 001 Pink. 
which isn't really going to go with the eyeshadow I'm going to be putting on, but I think I'll just put this on for now, and if I need to change it, then I'll add some on top. So I think we'll go in with maybe the blush brush, the Sephora blush brush, number 96. And I'm really tempted to get the new Too Faced blush, the cloud something blushes. Um, I really want the pink one that looks like this one, but I saw Tanya B. Wells do a video and she's like, you have this one, you really don't need that one, but why do I want it still? Does anybody else have this problem? Just me. Also, remember how I said I wasn't going to buy any new bronzers until like 2024? I lied. Um, I ended up picking up the Jones Road bronzer. I saw Alexa Chan use it in one of her newer videos and it looked so beautiful on her. So hopefully I like it. It's a little more rosier than I'm used to. So we'll see, which I feel like would be a more realistic tan, but. Yeah, so this is what this one's looking like so far. I do find with this one, I do need to kind of build it up a little. And I don't think, I do have an old Dior highlight, but I don't even think you can get it anymore. It's definitely probably expired. And... Yeah, I'll just go in with my Charlotte Tilbury, the newest highlight that she came out with. I did buy it. I didn't need it, but it looked really nice. The Champagne Glow, the Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. And I know a ton of people have already mentioned this, but the spinning is an issue. But not only that... Lauren May Beauty showed that it just pops right out. Like if you just tap the back of it, it's one thing to be spinning, but the fact that you can pop it right out, that's an issue. But the highlighter itself is beautiful. It's just, you can see it's really pretty. It is a little more oomph than I usually do with highlight. I kind of had toned down my highlights lately, but I don't know. I've like, I've been liking it. <sighs> Sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. But yeah, okay. So that's what we're looking like so far. I think I'm going to do my brows and then we'll get started on the eyes. Okay, so brows are done. They're looking a little scary right now. They don't look as bad in person. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so we're going to go in with this uh, Quint. I just got this. This is the new Dentel, and this is the shade 519. I actually saw Liz from Chicago Luxury Law using this, and I was like, oh my god, that looks so good on her. This was not even really on my radar. I ended up getting the blue one, which I did a video with, but I just didn't really see myself I thought it was beautiful, but I didn't really see myself using it often enough. So I just ended up selling it on Poshmark. So this is what new Dentel looks like, and I'm definitely going to use this one because these are kind of my shades. I've been going back and forth between... Sorry, I'm just using this shade right here. I've been going back and forth in between doing cool tone looks and warm, and I think I'm back on the warm. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I hate the way this looks. I'm only doing cool looks. And then one day I just switch back. So I ended up buying the Chanel quad in, um, oh gosh, Claire Obscured, but I don't know if I love it. It's pretty cool toned, but I don't know. 
feel like there's something about it. Maybe there's just not enough pigment. I don't know. Or I just like other ones I have better. But yeah, I'm not sure about that one. So we'll see if I decide to keep it. But I was like on a waiting list forever just to get it because it was sold out literally everywhere. I'll probably end up keeping it. But yeah, I just was surprised I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So this shade is a little bit shimmery, but I am going to mix it with this one here, which obviously is not so shimmery. It's a little darker. It's kind of like a brick tone. It's pretty warm. It is called Nude, but I would say these are definitely warmer shades for sure. Um, like nude to me means kind of like neutral, but yeah, these are definitely warm. I'm gonna, sorry, this is the Makeup by Ariel brush and this is in the A20. I use this one quite often. So that's what we're looking like. I'm just gonna use the Quint as my mirror. I don't know if you can see, I have a lot of like stray brow hairs, but I'm trying to grow my brows in. I try not to tweeze them so much, but sometimes it just drives me crazy. Like I can see so many right here that I just want to tweeze. I guess I can just tweeze the strays, but anyway, this is boring. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been really liking this Quint. So I'm gonna just go in now with this shade here in the middle. So we'll just use another Makeup by Ariel brush. This is the, I think, A29. I can't really read it. And we'll just go all over the lid with this. And this look is pretty similar to the one that Liz did, so I don't want to take full credit for it because she's already done it. But I do feel like there's only so many looks you can do with a new palette but hers looked so pretty especially on her skin tone just thought it looked really nice so now I'm gonna go in with my finger into this shade and this is more of like a shimmery shade too and I think this one just looks so pretty on the lid it's kind of like a champagne-y the other one the first one I used like right before this one it kind of has like a pinky kind of skin tone. Maybe not skin tone, like a pinky nude shade to it. But this one is a little more champagne and has a light sheen. I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. I think I'm going to use I don't have any eyeliners either, so I don't have brow products. Let me know if you've tried any Dior brow products and how they are. Um, I just use my NYX brow pen and this guy, the Benefit. Uh, okay, so sorry for eyeliner. I don't have Dior eyeliner. I'm gonna use Urban Decay Black Market. And what I usually do is just go from the corner of my eye pull it up this is nothing life-changing or <laughs> different but I just find it looks the best on my eye and this is not a true black I would say it's more of like a charcoal which I've def definitely preferred lately I think it's not as harsh, but it still gives you that nice kind of like smoky, seductive look. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. I'm going to just take a brush and I will kind of smudge that out. I'm just going to take an angle brush. And this is the Makeup by Ariel brush in A16. And I'm going into that darkest shade right there. 
and I like to just give it a good smudge. So I go a little over top of the eyeliner just to kind of give it that look as if I've you could actually go in first with the powder and then do the eyeliner. I just find it easier to smudge it out with the shadow. Then I don't have to do as many steps. But it almost gives it that look as if you had shadow underneath the liner. And I'm just smudging it. Go right into the corner of my eye with that. This wing went a little thicker than I kind of wanted it to, but that's fine. And then what I like to do is just take that deeper shade again. And I'm probably going to mix it with, probably going to mix these two. And just go right into the corner just to kind of meet that meet that wing. So I just went in with a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just blend it out again with that first blending brush that we used just so it doesn't get too smoky and out of hand but I feel like that's looking nice. You might not agree and that's fine but yeah Okay, so I'm going to finish my other eye and then I'll come back and I don't have mascara so I think I'll just finish my eyes fully. I'm either going to go in with the new L'Oreal Telescopic Lift which has received a lot of backlash lately which I get. Don't lie about a product. I'll always come and tell you if I changed my mind on something or if it just doesn't work at all. But yeah, so I'm gonna just curl my lashes, come back, and so, sorry, I'm gonna either use this or the Laura, um, CoverGirl Exhibitionist, so I'll let you know. Okay, so I used both mascaras, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't say that I don't have a Dior mascara. I actually really loved, I tried the Dior mascara, I think I was working at Sephora at the time and I think the rep brought us um, the primer, which was that white primer, and I don't know if it's Dior show, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but I do love the Dior mascara, um, I just don't have it, and I kind of like cheapo when it comes to mascara because I just feel like I could get really nice results from the drugstore, so that's usually what I do, so... That was the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift mixed with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. This has been like my number one for years. I can't even remember how long I've had it, but yeah. Um, I was looking at my blush and I feel like it looks a little too cool for the eye look. So I am going to take my Gucci Warm Berry and just add a touch of it to my cheeks here. If I can find my brush, that would help. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is that making it look pinkier? Hopefully not. But this is usually what I wear with this quint and it usually looks really nice. Okay. So I'm just going to buff that a little bit. And for lips, don't have a Dior lip liner. Sorry, I feel like I don't have a lot of things, but I did have like, you know, a lot of the base products. So I'm using the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. And I do have lipstick. I can't remember what they're called. They're kind of like the Makeup by Mario ones where they're like sheer kind of balmy texture. I have one of those. I think it's Thai and Dior. 
but it's more pinky. I don't really want to wear that today. It doesn't really go. And then I have... I used it in a video, one of the newer matte lipsticks. And it would probably actually go really nicely with this eye look, but I'm just not in the mood for lipstick today. It's a super matte, velvety kind of texture. And it's darker, and I just feel like doing gloss today, so. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm far away from my mirror, but I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of lining my lips lately. Maybe because I just sharpened my pencil too. I don't love when my pencil is too sharp. I like to kind of use the side of it. Anyway, you probably don't care. So I'm going to use the Lip Maximizer with Hyaluronic, sorry, Hyaluronic Lip Plumper in the shade. Oh my God, where's the shade? 16? I feel like it's Nude Shimmer or something. This one was sold out for a really long time. And then it came back. It's just super shiny. Just a little kind of sparkle in there. It's not glittery though, it's more like a sheen sparkle. <laughs> it's funny because I put this on and then my fiance and I were eating dinner. And I think I took a sip of whatever he was drinking and then he took a sip and he's like, he thought it was the food he was eating. He's like, oh, my lips are burning. He's like, this is spicier than I thought it was. And I'm like, I think it's my lip plumper. It doesn't really burn on me, but this one never, like a tiny bit, like a little tingle. But obviously he's not used to that. So he's like, what the hell? But yeah, this is what it looks like. And I think if I could just get my hair in order here, it look like a hot mess. Like what is happening? I think that is everything. Hopefully you have enjoyed this look. So I'll just give you a kind of close up of what it looks like. But yeah, I uh, had fun doing this. If you wanted to see an actual full face. I could probably do a full face of e.l.f. I would maybe have to just grab like um, mascara and probably a new concealer. But yeah, if you wanted to see that, let me know. Or if there's another brand you wanted me to try, let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and like if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Bye.